What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing Hello Horns for the Evo 10. I always thought the Evo 10's horn was kind of wimpy sounding and it doesn't really match the car. So the Hello Horns set that I bought is the Sharp Tones. The other option was Super Tones and I think that sounds a little too car game horn sounding, if you guys know what I mean. This one sounds a little bit more aggressive, I guess, and the decibel level for this is actually 115 decibels. I'm not sure how high the stock is, but it's, it's really weak. I think the hardest part about this whole install will be actually to make the ground wire for these horns. I've never actually done any wiring, so this might not end so well. But hopefully, it works out. So in preparation for this, I bought 14 gauge wire. I bought a wire cutter, stripper, and some wire connectors. Let's open this up and then I'll show you guys what's included. All right, some instructions that came with the hello horns and the diagrams and the hello horns themselves. Ah, it's a fuse. All right, and this is the fuse that's included. Let's go outside and then I'll let you guys hear what the stock horn sounds like. And then I'll let you hear it from the inside of the cabin and the outside. Now I'll do the same after I install the hello horns. So let's go. Before you do anything electrical related, you always want to take off the battery. If you are unlucky and you accidentally do something to the electricals, you could actually end up making the airbags blow and that is a huge headache so always take off the battery i usually do the positive terminal and it's held in by a 10 millimeter bolt all you gotta do is loosen it up and then pull it off i put it off to the side like this and the way you know that it's off for sure is if this light is off that is, unless that light bulb doesn't work for you. Then you're gonna have to check another way. So in order to get to both horns, you're gonna have to take off the front bumper. And to do that, you're gonna have to take off this little shield. So let's do that. Trim removal tools are amazing. Now that we've unmounted the front bumper, this is what we're replacing. This is the horn. You need to remove this bolt right here and it's a 12 millimeter. That's just one of them. And the second horn, it's actually right there. So you're gonna unbolt this bolt right here. And then I guess to make life easier, you can undo this portion, which is part of the horn. The other part I'm going to be removing is this part right here. This is just connected with a plastic piece. That's not really needed to be mounted there. All right. The second horn. I fished up the second horn from the bottom portion and the reason why I fished it up this way is so that you, could, you guys could see better. Push that out. Then this is going to be used for the new horn. When you take off the stock horns, make sure to keep the stock brackets because 
You're going to be bending the brackets so that the hello horns fit in place in a flush way. These are 10 millimeter nuts. You're going to need a vice grip if you're going to do this or else it's going to be really hard. When you look at these two pieces, it's actually shorter on this side, this little portion, than th this portion right here. So I'm going to use this indentation as my guide and bend right there. Alright, so I'm going to face them like this and then hit it so that it bends over this way. There we go. These are some Mustang nuts and bolts. Now for the hello horn install. Alright, we're good. This is the plug for the stock horn. So I'm gonna plug it into the bottom one. There's two plugs. If you look at this one, there's two plugs. This is facing upwards like this, this little bracket. There's two right here. I'm gonna plug it into the one on the bottom. And that's for both sides, so I'm gonna make the top negatives or grounds. Alright, so normally I would put it in this way so that the bolt goes inwards but this time around I'm gonna do it outwards because this is kind of blocking the way so I can't really do anything do it like that I guess it didn't really matter because I'm gonna use this side anyways this is how it looks without the bumper on I still have to do the negative terminal and the ground but it doesn't look too bad All right, so this is the negative terminal. I'm going to be grounding this to one of these three, probably this one right here. Take one of these ground wires and you plug it into the remaining plug thing right there. <laughs> so right there. Plug it in. All right, and it's not moving. I'm gonna put the wires behind to make it look a little bit neater. Look at this mess right here. So right there. Plug it in. Alright, and I think these wire connectors, I can use fire to make it shrink wrap itself, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it like it is. And now for the last part. The ground. The last thing you will have to do is you have to cut off a big chunk of this. And that's because the hello horn will hit this and the wires will hit this as well. You don't want that and it's better to just cut this off. So I'm going to be using a Dremel and here we go. And I think
think that should be good. So let's get to putting this on and then I'll show you guys the results afterwards. Let's see if I did this right. I did. Yes. The horns are fully installed and they do kind of look weird, but I wanted to rock it before I started painting it and that's why it's not painted. I feel like I'm going to be changing it out soon. You guys can see that. Kind of sticks out too much, but hopefully you guys like that install. So don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Later.